Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. I can't just sit here doing nothing. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I... lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard. You know? I know.
Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double-checking the inertia dampener coils. They'd be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. As it should be. So, just sign that quick. You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting. Like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. I'm glad you weren't. You'd be dead. And we'd never have met. Yeah. Well, that's the one good thing from all this. I'm glad to serve with you, Shepard. The Reapers are expecting victory. They won't get it. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Now, is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Need assistance. A couple of hours to put it. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. Bye, Robert. I'm glad you came. I just need a few moments to myself. Shepard, you made it! Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. I'm hurt. Why aren't you looking over here? Who said I'm not? I hear a few ladies have shown interest, but you haven't bitten yet? I haven't had the right moment with the right man. Oh, really? Dance with me. Lead the way. It's 
good to see you like this. Relaxing? Yeah. I'm used to seeing you step off my shuttle right into hell. And then I wait and worry about whether you'll make it back. I didn't know you cared. You're our commander, but you've been there for me. You're a good friend, Shepard. I want to be more than just friends, Steve. I thought I felt something between us. Today is a good day. Tonight, it would be better. I'm sure it could. Here. For the time we have together. Let's not take one moment for granted. <laughs> Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but Shuttle Guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. I was motivated. How about you, Edie? I am once again in control of the Normandy. Thank you for asking. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa. That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. See? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. Are you trying to seduce me, Steve? <laughs> Always. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I can't give to anyone else. I love you. So, this thing has autopilot, right? Who's here? How do you feel? Never felt better. Waking up next to you will do that. Buddy, I was thinking the same about you. Come on, let's see if anyone else is up. So, duty calls. Back to work. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. No. You're gonna figure out how to win this, and then... And then who knows? But, uh, it'll be great. Craziest time of my life. But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best.
The armory is prepared. The shuttle is primed. It'll still be a few hours before the fleet's mobilized, though. Now we just wait. Yeah. I was hoping you might want to wait together. Stay here with me. Till the call comes. Of course. Not one moment for granted. Okay. Got a lot on my mind. Of course you do. This is your day. It's not all on me. This is a massive operation. I'm just one man. Well, you're much more than that. You're the only one who's been right all along. We've lost a war of attrition. But you pulled everyone, everyone, together in time. We're going to win this war. I have no doubt. I didn't know you were such an optimist. You have that effect on people. Careful! Damn it! I'm hit! Steve! I'm all right! You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, you're alive. So are you. But when I saw that explosion, that's a feeling I never want to have again. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. Remember when I said you inspire optimism? It's because victory always follows you. Well, it helps to know I'm not alone out here. Never. I'll be waiting for you. Just come back in one piece, okay? I will. <laughs>